Hi, this is Jesse Liberty from Telerik. Today we're going to take a look at getting started with the RAD Horizontal Linear Gauge. The RAD Horizontal Linear Gauge is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight and WPF XAML and .NET development. To use the RAD Horizontal Linear Gauge, we're first going to look at how you create the gauge, then how you create the indicator. We're going to create a numeric gauge and set a value. To get started, let's go to Visual Studio and create a new project. Let's name it Numeric Gauge. Save that as a Silverlight 5 application and add data visualization and its dependent references. First thing we need to do is declare an instance of the RAD Horizontal Linear Gauge and set its width and its height. With that in place, we have the outline of the linear gauge. We now need to set a scale for the gauge. Let's go again to create a numeric scale, set a minimum of zero and a maximum of 999. We're then going to add the numeric scale indicators. The first set of indicators that we're going to add will all be scale objects setting the relative X and Y position and the relative height and width. And this is relative to the entire control itself. We'll also set a font size of 30 as we're going to be using text in this case to display the current value. The second set of numeric indicator properties we're going to set are the positions. Font number position allows you to set the background as you can see on the font numbers and if we run that we can see that we've got a gray background with black numbers and two decimal places, which is the default. Let's now give this a value by going back to the numeric indicator, adding a value of 100. Once the value of 100 is set, we can run the application, and you can see the numeric indicator indicating a value of 100 with a gray background and black numbers. I hope you've seen how easy it is to create a numeric indicator. For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. Thank you very much. I look forward to talking with you very soon.